Hey guys, it's Rosie. Welcome back. Today is finally the day that I'm going to Florida. I didn't think it would come so soon that I'd be able to travel again. It has been since March of 2020 that I've flown and I'm just so excited. So here's my suitcase. I'm all packed and ready. We're going to be leaving in a few minutes. We're going to be flying to Florida to go to Universal Studios. We'll be there for three days. So yeah, let's get on the road. I'm just last minute throwing in my Mickey ears because there is a pretty good chance that we'll go to Disney Springs or we might actually go to one of the Disney water parks. So I'm just going to throw these in before we head out. I still remember your number. Can see those digits by heart. So apparently the bus that we take um, is not running and we didn't know, so we're Ubering instead. <laughs> So we are in the absolute last row and <laughs> I don't even have a window. So. But hey, we don't have a middle person either. Yeah, at least we're we're sitting together. <laughs> We went on a little walk around the resort and now we're gonna get some dinner. Well, we're gonna just heat up some dinner that we brought and then go to bed because it's 8.30 and we have kind of an early start tomorrow morning. So yeah, I will see you guys in the morning. Okay, I'm in my robes and we're just about to go and pick up our tickets. So I'm gonna go over to the mirror and show you guys, but I just wanna, I'm so excited. Here is my outfit in the mirror. I've got this little gray dress thingy on over and then a collar and I'm so excited. So we're gonna go down and pick up our tickets and buy my dad a ticket and then we're gonna take the boat over to Islands of Adventure. So let's head out. So we're headed out to the water taxi. We got our passes, so we'll be going to the park for our early admission.
Epcot's twice, and now we're on our way over to um, the train to Hogsmeade so we can go ride Tigers. So I've been having so much fun already. Hogsmeade and we went on the Hippogriff ride and then I went on the Forbidden Journey and we're just waiting in Filch's store to cool down because it's like 90 out I think um, before we go to see our time at Ollivanders and then after that hopefully Hagrid's will you know not have as long of a line but we'll see. We went through the Ollivanders experience and my dad got picked well his wand picked him um, we didn't buy it though uh, but now we're walking around, just around the circle in Islands of Adventure, and I'm um, watching the Velocicoaster, which kind of looks nuts, so I'm definitely not going on that. But yeah, we're just trying to like pop into stores every now and again and use the um, air conditioning. pretty bad thunderstorm cell and I'm hanging out up here on the stairs under an overhang and people are scattering it's pouring um, my parents are out getting ice cream um, so yeah it, it's been really fun but uh, this is a little added We made it back to the hotel, we're gonna have some dinner, and then um, it's been like on and off thunderstorms, so we were hiding out by the exit of the park under an overhang, and it was pouring out, and then it stopped raining, and it's kind of getting sunny out, so we were hoping that the wait times will go down while we eat dinner, and then we could go back, I guess, if the rides open up again, so we'll see. Also, it got so hot and humid today, it got up to like 90, but the humidity was just death. Look at my hair. It's so, it's so bad. We're going into Hogsmeade. We are standing in the line for the Hagrid roller coaster because we didn't get on it yesterday. So it's a 60 minute wait right now, but we'll see. We are exiting the park because we're going to go do something else today. We just wanted to get a few rides in. So we went on the Hagrid's ride and we went on Gringotts um, and then we got ice cream. Now we're heading out and it's sprinkling a little bit but hopefully it doesn't turn into rain. So. 
So I haven't talked to you guys much at all today, but this morning we got up early and went into Islands of Adventure right when it opened, and then we booked it back to Hagrid's ride, and it was fantastic. That is definitely my favorite ride now. Then we went on the Hippogriff ride, and we took the train back over to Diagon Alley and um, took the Green Dots ride. So after that we left the park, oh we had ice cream, then we left the park and went on a little day trip to a state park and we walked around for a few hours. Um, then we went down to Disney Springs and got some mac and cheese and a few like baked goods and now we've just been hanging around at the hotel um, and I think we might go back into the parks and just hang out. The wait times are really really long so we kind of got our riding in this morning and then we might like use our express passes to do one or two rides but um just kind of hang out so i i guess i'll see you guys there just wanted to give you a little update so we're walking over to islands of adventure from the resort um for our last day we're only going to be here for a few hours because uh, we have to leave our hotel room at noon so we'll be back for that but we're gonna try to get on Hagrid's early again like we did yesterday. Hopefully we won't have to wait in much of a line and then we'll just see everything and head out. So yeah. Hogsmeade for the last time. Um, we actually got to ride Hagrid's twice this morning. We got on first and did not have a wait the first time and the second time we waited a half hour which was fantastic. Then we rode on the Hippogriff ride and now we're heading over on the train. So gonna spend some time in Diagon Alley and then we're gonna head Don't mind the hair, I am just taking off my costume because we're done at Universal, sadly. So this morning, my mom and I went to the gates really early. We got there at 7.45 and the park opens at 9, um, Isles of Adventure. So we stood in line for over an hour. When we got in, we literally ran back to Hagrid's with like a whole pack of people and we were some of the first people on the ride. So it was amazing. I love that ride so much and I'm glad we got to do it so many times because we got to get back in line and do it again. 
um, after we did it the first time. So it was only a 30 minute wait when we got on it again, which was amazing. Um, it was so much fun. After that, we kind of just hung out in um, Hogsmeade and went on the Hippogriff ride once. Then we took the train over to Diagon Alley and we went on Great Gods ride and then we got some butterbeer ice cream and then we left because we thought we were gonna leave and then my dad got us late checkout. So we went back in and we went on Great Gods again. We went in some stores, got some souvenirs. I got a head girl badge and a Ravenclaw patch because we might start making Ravenclaw robes also. Um, then after that, we left the park, well, we left Diagon Alley, and we went out into New York and got some ice cream, more ice cream. We had been sharing ice creams because there's not too much that we can eat, and we didn't want to wait in a massive line. So then we went back in, and we went on Green Gods the last time because we were trying to get into the first cart because um, the ride is better when you're in the first cart. We got in the first row. So then we did actually leave. Um, we just took the boat back, so we are out for good now, and we're going to be leaving the hotel in a few hours, so I will let you guys know. I guess I'll probably see you guys at the airport. So yeah, I'm just taking off my costume right now. It is 1am and we made it home. I'm going to update you guys a little bit more in the morning because I'm pretty tired. I just want to take a shower and go to bed. So yeah, I guess I'll see you guys in the morning. It was kind of an ordeal getting home because at the airport there were no Ubers at all. Like there's no public transportation right now really. So we were just like sitting there with a crowd of a whole bunch of other people and we could not get an Uber. We could not get a Lyft or anything so it took us a half hour and we finally went over and got a taxi so we took a taxi and got our car and then drove back so yeah I will see you guys in the morning to do a final like trip recap so I'm home now and it was such a fantastic trip I'm gonna give you guys a little bit of a recap so we flew down um, kind of like in the afternoon nightish and we got there just in time to like go on a walk and then the next morning we were going to go into Islands of Adventure but then we ended up using our early admission and we went into um, Universal Studios, we went back to Gringotts and such, um, then we took the train over. My dad was with my mom and I the first day um, because he just got a one day ticket while my mom and I got um, annual passes. Generally we just went to the park in the morning but on the first day because my dad had his pass we stayed there. I think until 4 so we were in the parks for like 8 hours which is kind of nuts. Um, it did pour rain on us and such but um, we survived. So then the next day my mom and I just went in the morning, we went straight into Islands of Adventure and rode Hagrid's and then we left and went to a state park um, just to use our state park pass because we got an annual state park pass back in January when we came down to Florida on a road trip. So then on the next day we went to the park in the morning again and we ended up getting a late checkout for our hotel room so we ended up staying until about one I think and we got to ride Hagrid's twice again so I had such a great trip um, and then we flew out that night so it was such a fantastic trip we just got to do like exactly what I wanted to do and I got to travel because I'm vaccinated which it makes me so happy because we waited so long to be able to travel with the pandemic and everything. So I hope you guys will be getting your vaccine soon so you'll be able to start seeing people and everything. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I know this is a really long video. I just had so much fun with it and I didn't want to cut out any of the fun. So um, I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure to follow me on all social media at Rosier Volts and check out my Etsy shop also at Rosier Volts and my book at GetOutdoorsBook.com and I'll see you guys later. Bye.